Hello everybody, welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and I have an interesting video for you today. I want to talk about Sawyer water filters and more specifically I want to introduce to you some new filters that are coming out for 2018. Right here on the right, you can see that we have the original Sawyer Mini. It has a barb on the top as well as a barb on the bottom. It's a great filter. It's threaded on the bottom and it's, it's been a great filter for a long time. I've used it. It works good. It will reduce 99.99% of bacteria and 99.99% of protozoas. It is a 0.1 micron filter, very effective filter. Has a little cap here that you can put on top when you're done. This has just been a great filter and it works well for about a hundred thousand gallons. That's the rating that Sawyer puts on it. It's very easy to back flush. The flow rate isn't real fast but it's it's manageable. So now next to it we have brand new for 2018 we have the new Sawyer Mini the bottom is the exact same connection as the old one the body is about the same except they made some changes here on the top they made a barb on the top and a barb on the bottom so you can use this for inline applications and they also included a new uh, section on the top which is threaded now so you can do a lot of the same things with this new Mini that you used to be able to do with the original Sawyer Squeeze. So this one is also a 0.1 micron filter. It is also 100,000 gallons and the effectiveness against bacteria and protozoas is exactly the same as the old Mini. So that's the first one that's new for 2018. The next one that we see here is brand new for 2018. This is the Sawyer Micro Squeeze this has a barb on the bottom it has the same connection on the top as the new mini and also as the old squeeze this one is also the same effectiveness it's a 0.1 micron filter I do not know how many gallons they rate this at however I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that it's somewhere between 100,000 and 1 million. I'm guessing they might put something on it like like they did with the newer Sawyer squeezes by saying that they were a lifetime warranty. So I'm kind of guessing that, but I'm not sure. I have reached out to Sawyer. I asked that question. I sent email, but I haven't gotten a response yet. Next to it is the inline Sawyer squeeze. This has been out for a little while. This is a 0.1 micron, same specs. Uh, this is a million gallons, and this is something that you could use for a hydration pack. It's also very good for putting into the Sawyer water bottle, um, and it's a, it's a very good filter. And last but not least is the original, the Sawyer Squeeze. This one does not have a barb on the bottom, but it does have a barb on the top. So for this to be used in an inline application, something such as you know your hydration bladder or something like that, you would definitely have to uh, put a, an adapter here on the bottom that threads in that has that barb on it. This one is 0.1 micron. It's the same effectiveness as all of these other filters. They all have the same effectiveness. The only difference between this one and the ones behind is this one is good for one million gallons or a lifetime so that is the original Sawyer now when you look at all of these filters across the board they all have the same effectiveness they're they are all 0.1 micron they're all 99.999 percent against bacteria and protozoas uh, this one is a million gallons this one is a million gallons this one is unknown and these two are 100,000 gallons they're, ep they're excellent water filters. They do nothing to remove taste or odor from the water. Okay, 
So if you got some stinky uh, water, there none of these are going to do anything for it. The only one that comes close is the Micro Squeeze, and that's only because of the new uh, Series 1, 2, or 3 bottles that have a activated charcoal element in them. Now, all of these filters, the Squeeze, the Micro, and both Minis, have the ability to screw on top of that bottle. So keep that in mind. So here is a quick look at Series 1 of the Select Water, water Filter Series. This is S1. This one will remove uh, bacteria. It'll do everything that the Sawyers behind it will do. Uh, but it'll also improve the taste and the odor of the water. And this one is good for 1600 uses. This is a 20 ounce bottle. It's very effective. And on the top here, it's got threads here so any of these filters uh, these three or the original squeeze will all fit the top of this uh, select water filter so it's pretty cool so it's got some foam inside of here and you basically put the water in you agitate this you massage the water into the foam and then eventually you push this water through this bottle you just give it a good squeeze and the water will come out it's a very very nice water filter. This is again, this is the the series filters. This is the S1 uh, of the Select series. They're they're really cool water filters. Uh, if you look at the S2, it does everything that this one does, except they take it a step further and they start to uh, remove viruses as well. Now in North America where we live, we don't really particularly have viruses in our water. Places in Canada, places in Alaska places in the lower 48 where we live uh, we don't have viruses in that are waterborne. S2 that one would be good for someone who's going to be traveling abroad now if you look at the select series 3 S3 it's only good for 400 uses so this one being S1 is uh, 1600 uses the S2 is 800 uses and the S3 is only 400 uses the S3 does everything that this one does, but they've added uh, the reduce of chemicals as well as metals from the water. So S3 is going to be the one that you're going to use whenever you want to get uh, nasty water that might have chemicals or metals or pesticides in the water, things of that nature. So as they sit right there on the back, these filters are good for all your backcountry waters. Things such as ponds, rivers, streams, lakes, ice melt off, rainwater, stuff like that. These are going to filter that. They're going to take out the debris. They're going to take out the protozoas that might exist in the animal droppings that are floating around in the water. And this, these are excellent, excellent water filters, all of them. Uh, this new micro squeeze. I think is going to be a big hit from Sawyer. It's doing good things. It's got a good flow rate. It reminds me of the flow rate of the original squeeze. It's it's a very very nice filter, and I think Sawyer's done a great job with it. It's gonna it's gonna go along really well, I believe. Okay, I have all the filters sitting right here right now, and I have them in order from the lightest to the heaviest. So I've got my scale turned on. We're gonna take a look. The original Sawyer Mini weighs in at, whoops, that cap wasn't on the scale, 1.73 ounces. Okay, the new Sawyer Mini weighs in at 1.76 ounces, so just a little bit heavier. The new Micro Squeeze, 2.06 ounces. The inline squeeze, 2.42 ounces, and the Sawyer squeeze, the original, 3.07 ounces. So again, the heavier is here all the way down to the lighter. So that's how they weigh in. Now they've all been filtering water today, so they are all full of water. Okay, so for this testing, I'm going to go up to 16 ounces, and the first one up is the original Sawyer Mini. So I've got a big squeeze pouch here. Let's go ahead and get as soon as the water starts. We're going to start the time. And let's see how long it takes to get 16 ounces of water. 
I'm squeezing the bag fairly hard, not too hard. And stop. So about 28 seconds. About 28 seconds roughly. Okay, next up is the new Sawyer Mini. So let me get into position. Let's get started. Stop. So about 33 seconds. So the flow rate, I'm going to tell you, is probably about the same. Uh, I've been using this new one quite a bit. So, and this old one is brand new. So the flow rate, I would say, is probably about the same. Next up is the new Sawyer Micro Squeeze. Let's so go ahead and get this thing started. There we go. 16 ounces of water. Flow rate looks like it's a little bit faster on this one. And stop. 27 seconds. So it's a little bit quicker. This one's pretty much, pretty much brand new. I've used it a few times. And last but not least, the original Sawyer Squeeze. Let me get the pouch in position. Get this thing ready to go. And let's start. I made a little bit of a mess on this one. I've used this filter a lot over the years. I back flush it regularly. And stop. 42 seconds. So that would be the original. Again, this one I've used a lot. I want to say thank you for joining me today on this video with the new Sawyer filters coming out for 2018. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below, like this video, share this video, and if you like the type of content on my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And until next time, folks, thanks again for watching. Have a beautiful day now.